In September 1989, the fifth Festic Games will be held in Kobe, Japan. of the port of Kobe, a festival to celebrate the historical milestones being held at Mary Ken Park, the birthplace of the port. The Maritime Museum demonstrates the city's close relationship with the sea, encounters with the distant western countries, and the enterprising spirit inherent in the port city. the seas. Kobe is bordered by the sea and the mountains. In this blessed natural setting, Kobe continues its unique development. Kobe port is among the world's major ports. The container terminals of Port Island, the cultural city on the sea, and Roko Island, the second man-made island, form the core of the port of Kobe. A new century is approaching. Kobe strives to be in the forefront of the coming changes. Fashion Town, the center of fashion-related businesses. The creations which originate in Kobe will provide inspiration throughout the world. Both goods that came from Western countries and traditional Japanese products have been polished and refined in Kobe. Among them are shoes, confectionery, and Western-style furniture. And cultured pearls. Kobe is a city of slopes with a panoramic view of the sea. The former foreign residence is used for musical concerts. The traditional sake wine distillery is at Nada Ward. The footmarks of the past are left at this district. This is Taisanji Temple. Kobe is home for nearly 40,000 foreign residents from 80 nations. Chinese New Year is celebrated at Chinatown with a traditional dragon dance. Kobe is fast becoming known as a convention city, a place where people meet to engage in the exchange of merchandise, information, and culture. At the International Salon run by the Kobe Asian Center, exchange students from various nations foster and deepen friendship. Here, the people have an opportunity to tell others about their own lands and to learn about their host country, Japan. A place of mutual learning between overseas students and the citizens. Communication beyond borders is growing in the international city of Kobe. International exchanges are spreading into various fields.
find a world-oriented culture being fostered in Kobe. The pleasant greenery that abounds throughout the city is the direct result of the efforts of the citizens who have taken the lead in nature conservation. The city stands amidst the greenery and parks. Kobe is a charming city with a pleasant breeze in the air. As a result of a clean Kobe campaign and the completion of the drainage system throughout the city, the water in the rivers has regained its purity. The Kobe International Flute Competition, the first of its kind in Asia. This is just another of the city's many cultural events. The city of Kobe strives to provide a climate in which the citizens can enjoy a cultural affluence and pursue a creative life. This is a newly opened Aqualife Park. A baby sea otter, a new addition to the family. Dreams and hopes, vitality, the future, our city, Kobe. The central districts have supported the development of Kobe. Now those inner city areas need to be redeveloped for revitalization. The Mano district is being developed based on the future plan work taught by the people of the community. A redevelopment project will transform the area around the JR Rokkomichi station into an attractive new shopping and entertainment area. Former National Railway's freight station will be turned into a cultural urban waterfront called Harborland. New towns where the people will live, work, study and relax are going up one after another in the nature-rich Seishin district. They give a concrete expression to the concept, human environment city of Kobe. The city center and the new towns are conveniently linked by the municipal subway system. Coming out of the tunnel, you are greeted by the great expanse of Suma New Town. Situated amidst lush greenery is the Kobe Comprehensive Sports Park.
academic town is an intellectual center of Kobe. Young people who will meet the challenges of the growing internationalization and the information society shape the future of Kobe. What do you think of the internationalization of the city of Kobe, Ms. Harimoto? It is true that um, in Kobe there are lots of people um, from foreign countries, but even though I think Kobe is rather conservative, because, you know, in Kansai area, Seishin Shuo Station, a new gateway to a new town. Around the station extends the Seishin New Town, which is the nation's first contiguous workplace residence complex. The housing component will accommodate a population of 67,000. <laughs> Many of the homes are equipped with new media. The local area captain system allows desired information, access through the telephone circuit, to be shown on the TV monitor screen in each home. Cable TV provides information on local community matters. Seishin Industrial Park developed next to the large-scale housing area. The industrial complex is surrounded with greenery. Aiming toward the 21st century, efforts have been made to locate high technology industries here. are one vast vineyard and in one section stands a winery what better to go with Kobe wine than a barbecue of the world-famous Kobe beef the agricultural park which accommodates the winery is a popular place for relaxation mountains are designated as a national park. Some 3,000 people take part in the walk across the Rocco Mountains every year. The greenery that graces the Rocco Mountains is the result of a forestation project that has continued since the early 1900s. white sands and blue water. And this is the fishing park. The beautiful sand beach has been restored as a result of a beach nurturing program. A healthy life is everyone's desire. The concept Welfare City Kobe is formed to meet this desire. A lifelong system of social and medical services and individual citizens' self-awareness of health form the basis of the Welfare City. Voluntary citizens and the city's welfare institutions work together to provide needy people with bathing and meal services. The 
The goal is to build a community where people care for each other and live together in warmth and harmony. The city of Kobe seeks to create a place where the elderly may find comfort in the pursuit of meaningful work, where they can express their creativity and where they can share their joy with others. And this is the Kobe Children's Center, situated in Harborland. The center is designed for children to form dreams and hopes and to develop creativity. Happiness Village is a large-scale complex of sports and welfare facilities where people from all walks of life, children and youth, senior citizens and the disabled may communicate with each other. It is scheduled for completion in 1989 when the city of Kobe celebrates its 100th anniversary. As part of the centennial celebrations, Kobe will host the Hespit Games for six days starting September 15, 1989. Hespit stands for the Far East and South Pacific Games for the Disabled, and the Kobe Games will mark its fifth. So thank you, sir, Mr. Mayor. Over 1,300 people from 25 nations are expected to participate. It will constitute a great step toward the realization of Welfare City Kobe. Supporting the international meet will be the civic volunteers. The success of the FESPIC depends mainly on people's kindness and readiness to help. A fundraising campaign for the games is on throughout the city. Smile, goodwill, and hope spread among us is the slogan of FESPIC. The FESPIC Games will be held at five sites, including the Universidad Memorial Athletic Stadium and Happiness Village. FESPIC will serve as a bright bridge to the 21st century. And what will Kobe be like in the 21st century? Rokko Island is just one of the symbols. Soon the second cultural city on the sea will be realized. Port Island will also be expanded to almost double its present size as a key center of internationalization and information. A heliport has been constructed at Port Island. It is the first step in the creation of a short distance high speed transportation network to handle the increased air traffic demand. The Kobe City Air Terminal will be built on Port Island. The Kobe Air Cargo City Terminal on Rokko Island the passenger and cargo terminals will act as the closest link between Kobe and the Kansai International Airport. Kobe Airport will become a key point in the nation's domestic airline network. The cultural city on the sea serving as Japan's gateway to the world is the image of the future Kobe. Kobe intends to be a new type of metropolis with key terminals for both air and sea. To the north of Mount Rokko, a new town is being built, Kobe Sanda International Garden City. Freshness characterizes the new community. The 
Akashi Strait Bridge will link the main island of Honshu with Shikoku. The traffic network indispensable to the life of the city will be improved and expanded as a result. The winds blew in from the sea to Kobe. After 100 years, the winds begin to blow out to the sea. The winds directed toward the 21st century. Port City Kobe is an open-hearted city bordered by the mountain range of Loko in back and the sea expanding in front. Kobe is located almost at the center of the Japanese archipelago and next to Osaka Prefecture. Let us today introduce some of the main sites of Kobe. Kitanocho area. Walking north from Sanomiya station of the JR, Hanshin Railways or Hanki Railways is Kitanocho, known as the historical foreign quarter. Early foreign traders built foreign style houses here and even now, big bay windows, verandas, beautiful roofs and chimneys create an exotic atmosphere that attracts many Japanese tourists who are anxious to have a taste of foreign countries. About 70 foreign-style houses still remain, and some of them have been turned into boutiques, restaurants, galleries, and so on. The area halfway between the JR Sanomiya Station and Motomachi Station used to be the settlement of foreigners 120 years ago. Now, there are only a few old buildings of the bygone era left. The Kobe City Museum, which was opened in 1982, houses a collection representative of the blend of cultures in Kobe. Besides the many valuable objects on exhibit, is a scaled-down model of the Kobe Bund, showing the flourishing cultural exchange between Kobe and foreign countries. Just north of Shin Kobe Station of the Shinkansen Bullet Train is the beautiful Nunobiki Waterfalls. Above the falls is the Nunobiki Reservoir, a source of water for Kobe, considered the most delicious water in Japan. The excellent quality water is brought down along the Sumiyoshi River and reaches the Nada area, the famous sake producing district. A walk through this area, with its subtle fragrance of sake and old factories and museums, is sure to be of interest. Museums relating to the history of sake brewing is the Sakagura Museum, a 100-year-old building where sake was made in the winter and stored during the summer. Here, the various tools and methods used in making sake some 100 years ago are on display. Although sake is now actually produced in fully mechanized plants, it is interesting to find out the old process of sake making you will get a glimpse of Japanese culture and the Japanese spirit. Situated in the middle of the city is Sorakuen Garden, which is the only Japanese-style garden in Kobe. Although located amongst modern buildings, it offers a quiet and relaxing haven throughout the year. Especially recommended are the colorful azaleas in spring and the beautiful chrysanthemums in autumn. There are three important cultural assets in the compound. The Hassam residence, which was built in 1902. The stable with the round tower, which was built around 1907. And the Funayakata, or houseboat. For 
the shopper. Kobe is truly a paradise, and the center of that paradise is San Namiya, with its wealth of specialty shops, boutiques, department stores, and an underground shopping center. In Center Guy, you will find building after building of attractive and fashionable shops with an amazing array of goods. The recently remodeled underground shopping center is called Sanchika, which is full of boutiques, restaurants, and so on. Sanchika is also equipped with an information counter, character and pattern telephone access information network system, and multi-television. In Kobe, you can find interesting and unique gifts to take home. When it comes to dining, the cosmopolitan city of Kobe offers something for the most demanding of palates. The Kitanacho area is famous for its restaurants, which offer a great variety of cuisines. Don't forget to try world-famous Kobe beef. The high-quality Kobe beef comes from purebred Japanese cows fattened on a special mixture of imported grains at ranches located in the hills and mountains behind Kobe. There are also many places where you can enjoy drinking while listening to music. Discover the restaurants, discos, pubs and bars of Kobe with their exotic blend of Western and Eastern cultures. The Rokko mountain range stretches along the city's north side for some 20 kilometers. In less than an hour by car or by cable car and ropeway, you can be at the top of the mountains. Here is the leisure zone, having places of recreation and relaxation. You can enjoy not only a panoramic view of Kobe, but also hiking and various other sports in the fresh air and greenery. At the Rokko San Country House, there are a mini golf course, a fishing pond, an artificial skiing slope, and so on. A vast ranch with a red roof cow shed and a peak capped silo is the Rokko San Pasture. In the Rokko Alpine Botanical Garden, you will find various kinds of beautiful alpine plants and flowers from all over the world. There are other enjoyable leisure and eating facilities and many hiking courses located around the summit. to the summit of Mount Rokko continues over the mountains to Arima Spa, which is one of Japan's most loved spas, both for its natural beauty and its 1,300-year heritage. The famous mineral water of Arima Spa will relax you and wash away your fatigue. Try an open-air bath surrounded by nature for a truly unforgettable experience. In the town of Arima, the traditional atmosphere lingers in the row of old stores and houses lining the street. Traditional crafts, such as bamboo craft and brush dolls, still remain here. It has also become possible to hold a conference in the serene atmosphere of Arima. You can choose either a Japanese-style inn or a modern hotel and from a variety of conference rooms. The various hotels here have banquet halls, spacious lounges and recreation rooms. After a hard schedule, you can stretch out in the luxurious spring baths. The beach is always crowded with young people enjoying various marine sports. Sticking out into the sea from Sumauda Park is the Suma Fishing Park, which is the largest fishing park in Japan. It is crowded with anglers as well as holiday makers. The beautiful Sumarikyu Park overlooks the Inland Sea and Osaka Bay. It has a European atmosphere with its big fountains, series of waterfalls, plentiful trees and bushes and spacious gardens. 
The well looked after flower beds are full of different kinds of seasonal flowers all year round. There are also a botanical garden where many plants are preserved as natural as possible and a greenhouse where many exotic tropical flowers are in bloom. This grand park provides a restful place for people in Kobe. Suma is the nearest seaside resort to downtown Kobe. In the 12th century, it was a battlefield in which a battle was fought between the two strongest samurai families then, the Genji and the Heike, who were struggling for power. It ended with the victory of the Genji when the beleaguered Heike troop was driven into the bay and swallowed by the sea. Suma Temple, located on a small hill overlooking the sea, is closely linked to this story. The memory of Atsumori, a young Heike general who was killed at the age of 16, still lives on here. It is said that his head, which was cut off by a Genji warrior, was washed in the water of the temple's pond. Various relics of the Heike are preserved in the temple. Adding to its many special products such as beef and sake, Kobe, taking advantage of its climate and pure mountain water, has started the production of wine. This European-looking building is the municipal Kobe winery where Kobe wine is produced. Here, you can see the process of winemaking and also enjoy the taste of it, as well as stroll around the garden and orchards. The magnificent Red Kobe Bridge stretches from downtown Kobe out to the sea, coming to a rest on Port Island, one of the world's biggest man-made islands. Linking Port Island and downtown Kobe is the fully computerized train, the Port Liner. Port Island was designed to encompass the perfect living environment and is equipped with various public facilities, sports centers and event halls. There are also three beautiful parks with lots of greenery and fountains and ponds and a big amusement park, Portopia Land, which is always crowded with young people. Around Port Island Citizen Plaza, there are various facilities for international events. The main building is the International Conference Center Kobe. The main hall, with a seating capacity of 700 people, is equipped with a full-scale stage setting and simultaneous interpreting booth for six languages. There are also an international conference room for various kinds of international congresses and medium-sized and small-sized conference rooms. The Kobe International Exhibition Hall is used for holding trade fairs. Both the first and second floors have a capacity of 3,000 square meters each. The World Hall is available for sports tournaments, concerts and various other events. There are also Kobe Central Hospital, a multi-story hotel and the sports center. Port Island is equipped with all the necessary facilities to cope with any kind of convention. Port City Kobe the gateway of different cultures, blending to create an exotic atmosphere. The foot of Mount Loko stretches down to meet the sea. The city of Kobe lies in between, and there are many parks, Sakagura museums, modern boutiques, fashionable tea rooms, and various specialized restaurants. Kobe is the city in which a Western atmosphere and the Japanese tradition coexist. A part of the Seto Inland Sea National Park, Mount Loko. Ethnic spa town, Arima. Man-made island, Port Island. In addition, Kobe is also equipped with the latest facilities to function as a convention city. Your visit to Kobe will become one of your fondest memories of Japan.